I don't know if you can tell in the video, I can. Uh, definitely some discoloration or outlines uh, where the stickers were. Like right here, right below my thumb when I move my shadow. Very hard to tell in the camera. And um, frankly, I don't really give a shit. But um, it is something there that like I feel... If and when I do sell them, somebody somebody who is picky or I'm not even going to say, I'm not even going to call them picky. Somebody who's really particular might uh, say something about that or have uh, some sort of negative feeling about that if you didn't mention that to them. I don't care. So like I could be a dickhead and be like, yo, dude, what about this? Um, the only thing that I kind of that that kind of troubled me or like made made me be like oh what the fuck was um the fan uh you can't turn the fan completely off um i don't know if if that's um a mistake or if that's how they all are but basically the fan has two different speeds and that's it it's always on uh the low speed feels like it's not even really going fast enough for it to really even do anything for anything honestly um uh, and that's the one that makes the weird noise that's kind of concerning or could be concerning to some people um i guess i if if it if it's supposed to do that or if, or if that's not like an issue um on the longevity of the fan then i don't really give a shit i could learn to deal with the noise um, but it is noisy, and it does sound like it's not supposed to do that. Um, basically, I don't, so I just in case, uh, people who have these goggles don't have this issue, what's going on is there's a button down here, the fan power button. Um, when you have it turned off, or I guess, I guess off, uh, so this is a button, it's a momentary switch. You, you, no, it's not a momentary switch. This is a clicking switch. So that tells me it's a, a two-position switch. You click it once, that's on. Click it again, that's off, right? Okay, well, apparently not. Um, you can, just to click it, it, it turns it to two different speeds. Or I think it's two different speeds. I don't, the problem is I don't know if the low speed is supposed to be it turned off. And then the high speed is supposed to be it turned on. Uh, because there's two different speeds of it being on. And if you want to turn the fan off, you can. But you have to hold down the button. And then once the fan turns off, the goggles beep and beep and beep and beep. They don't stop. It just keeps, it's continuous. It just keeps going. So I don't, I think that's definitely um, not correct. Like that's probably not supposed to be like that. And maybe um, other people don't have that issue. But I don't know. I've never had the HDOs or HDO2s, and so that's why I'm making this video, just kind of uh, putting it out there. I just want to say, though, um, <clears throat> I probably should have started with this. I do love these goggles. The field of view, is. I came from the Dominator, either V2s or V3s. I don't know. They had a 4-3 aspect ratio, and they had the blue stickers, not the, not the gray stickers. They had the blue stickers. So whatever version that was, uh, that's what I had. And so they have the 4-3 aspect ratio. I always have, even when I'm watching videos, have preferred 16-9 over 4-3. But um, coming from those Dominators to these, I have some, some box goggles. I came from box goggles. I know box goggles. Um, that's what these felt like. Like the, the field of view was huge. Versus on the other Dominators, the field of view was actually small and like out in front of you, if that makes sense. It's like if you're watching a, a TV on a 32-inch TV and it's across the room. It's like, this, you know what I mean? This is one, one size of it. These new ones are like if you did that, but you're standing in front of it. And it's like, you know, like, it's hard, it's hard to... It's hard, you know what I mean, without seeing it or like 
going from one to the other, it's hard to really explain it and for you to really understand the difference. Uh, but it, it was definitely noticeable, and that's kind of my point, is it was very noticeable and um, in a good way. Like, I was like, wow, holy crap, this is awesome. Like, it surprised me, it kind of blew me away, um, it made me excited. I do want to say I love this strap as well. This strap is a really, really fat strap, but it's uh, coyote brown. It's not, You can't really see it. There we go. Sick. And it's got this awesome battery um, pocket-like thing. And this battery's cool. It's like a regular LiPo, but it's got power indicator on it which is dope and it's got uh, a balance lead xt30 lead and the power the um, bullet connector and it goes like literally it's like it's nice Th these are even like even more small and compact than my other goggles were and mainly because of wiring and shit and, and stuff I, I don't know but anyways i'm excited about these so i wanted to make a video about it and share it and also kind of talk about the hdo2s because I came from Dominator um, V2s or V3s. I don't fucking know what they were. They had the blue stickers right here. Fat Shark always. When they, when they started making their goggles white, they always changed the color of this sticker for each model. And they had a gray one. Um, these are black for your um, HDOs or black. And, and same with... Uh, this outline, like they, they, uh, well, I, most of them are white. HDOs, they changed them to black. So the goggles are now black and white instead of just all white. But yeah, um, mine had the blue right here though. So whatever that is, that's what I had. There's so many different models of fat sharks when realistically there's only like eight or ten different models. But the names and, and the colors and everything gets confusing and shit. Since so many of their goggles look the exact same. And some of, all their goggles are the same. This is another thing I wanted to say. And this is just about Fat Sharks. And I'm a fan of Fat Sharks. So this is saying something. I'm biased towards Fat Shark in a positive way. Because I'm a fanboy for Fat Shark. So this is so this should t say something. Um, Fat Sharks products, all of them, except for finally looking at their new uh, HD goggles, those actually those are different in in this um, this case. Every model that they have made before has either looked like seemed like or felt like an unfinished product looking at the bottom of these just looking at them and the, these are the fat sharks latest and greatest analog goggle these goggles currently if you buy these brand new are 500 dollars, which to me is nuts uh, and that's not with um a battery or a module so $500, brand new, out the box, you can't even use them. That's just, I'm just trying to convey how expensive these goggles are, right? Um, looking at the bottom of these, these look like the, the design and mold and shape looks to me like an unfinished product. Why do I say that? These deep screw holes don't look good. Uh, I, 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 we get it. You recess the hell out of the screws. We do appreciate that. That doesn't go unnoticed. Thank you, Fat Shark, for thinking about stuff like that. But no beveled edge or nothing like this. Doesn't look new. This looks like some old design on on a, on as far as ways to make the. I know that's silly to nitpick about, but also this shape right here, this this hard angle cutout, looks unfinished. It looks like. It looks like that was rushed. And like you forgot to do this. And last minute you're like. Oh wait. These need to be. To go in. Recessed. So. Okay. Well then let's just outline that part right there. And then. 
take with the 3D model on the computer and indent that, move it back a, just a little bit, how much, what's the distance we need, blah, 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 okay, perfect. And that's what you did, like that, it looks like that was an after effect of the design, like, and that's not even, like, that is just one aspect of that and that this is just fat shark i love fat shark i genuinely like fat shark i love their products um i think that their products are really good but there's just design flaws these but these buttons up here like that trying to get some light some good lighting so you can see it these buttons you can literally see if I clean that out, you could literally see the board. Like the motherboard that these buttons are connected to. It's like they didn't even... It's like they put real buttons on it and then um, somebody ripped out the rubbers that go over the buttons. That go in between the outside shell and underneath inside shell. Over these buttons. That's what. That's exactly what these look like. I don't know if anybody's ever noticed that. Or thought that same thing. But I've always thought that about Fat Sharks. Buttons as far as those kinds of buttons. I'm not talking about. These buttons. I'm talking about this button. Yes this is a button. It's a toggle button. It's basically a tiny joystick. And they have them on both sides. Fat Sharks is. is this is like one of their. Their known styles and ways of, of doing a button. For, th for this. Um button in this feature right uh it's a lot like what some of these guys do on this like this is a up and down up and down fuck up and down toggle it goes up and down and then it also clicks in but yeah that looks unfinished to me these are cool and fine it's just very very cheap like you got these, like, they don't even protrude. They're not even, like, it's all one material. Like, it's just really, really cheap for su for such a high quality and high value and high market uh, item. It's just made cheaply. So I'm going to stop. I can go I can go on. There are some, th some more things I'm sure I could think of and pick out. I don't want to be that guy. I'm just saying. Um, come on, Fat Shark. Please, somebody share this, man. So I hope this gets some views because, like, I feel like Fat Shark could totally up their game. And I feel like with the HD goggles they did, that looks like a finished product. It looks nice. It looks high quality. Uh, some of the buttons look a, a identical and, and a lot like uh, the same form factor or style or or quality of materials as DJI, and that's what's really cool about DJI, is like, even if, um, even, and I'm not saying um, uh, their, their parts and, and, and uh, materials are cheap, but I'm saying, even if there were um, parts, and I'm not saying that all their shit is like high quality and, and none of it is, is cheap, or isn't cheap, but I'm just saying, what I'm saying is, if there ever was something on um, the build of a DJI product that was cheap or a cheap um, uh, quality of material, whatever it is, like buttons, switches, um, foams, whatever, at least they go out of their way to make sure when the project is finished that all of those little bits and pieces look finished and they look high quality and they look nice and they feel nice and they feel high quality does that make sense this is not a video about like comparing fat shark to dji even though i just did but i'm just saying like fat shark is is has been the best and most expensive most high dollar um, option as far as FPV goggles. As, as far as the viewing experience, they have been for like the past 
as far as I know, at least the past six or seven years, probably eight or nine years, maybe ten. I'm not sure. I haven't been in a hobby that long, but like, all right, I'm just rambling and, and walking back forth. But anyways, you guys get it. 